Hi everyone, Andy here again with the Sony F5 going over the version 2.0 firmware. Uh, specifically now I want to talk about the high speed options that the firmware gives you, uh, which certainly was a, a big gain for a lot of people. Uh, the F5 uh, and 55 now can both shoot above 60p and 120, 180, up to even 240 frames per second. But the modes and settings uh, are kind of confusing at times, so I wanted to go over how to set up the camera to do those modes. So, uh, a couple big things here to know first right off the bat is that the camera can only internally, as in on the S by S cards, record up to 120 frames per second in that XAVC format. Uh, there could be in the future in the F55 there's going to be a, a little bit more than that, but right now we're at 120 only. And only also in the HD format. So XAVC HD, as in 1920 by 1080 is the format that can do the 120 mode internally. So if you want to do uh, 120, which I'll show you, we got to go in the menus and make sure we're in XAVC HD. So to do that, we'll go in the menus here, go down to your system mode here, go down to my record format, and make sure my record format says XAVC 1920 by 1080, right? So it says that, I'm good. That means I can do the high speed if I want to. Great. So I'm going to leave there and back out. Now I need to turn on the S and Q motion mode. Now, right now, if I go on the side of the camera, I can see Q is set to off. I hit the button here and I turn it on. Great, but I can't go above 60p, right? So S and Q still works, but where's the 120? Well, you can't get there just yet that way. So we'll leave that. What I have to do uh, is turn on a, a high frame rate mode in the camera. What this does, essentially, uh, to get over 60p, is read the sensor slightly differently. Uh, the sensor itself can't be read more than, in, in, in full, it can't be read any more than 60 frames per second. To get fa faster than that, we're actually going to pull less pixels essentially off the sensor, which we can read faster up to that 240 frame. Uh, to do that, and when we do that, uh, things happen. So let me go check it out in the menus here to show you where that is. Back out, I'm going to go back all the way to the camera menu here, camera, and go down to S and Q motion. Okay, it's turned on right now, on, uh, on and, and the frame rate is set to 60p. Uh, well, there's this thing in the middle now called high frame rate mode. Well, let's turn that on. That's the mode that's going to reduce that pixel count. And when I do that, full scan mode, it says. So there's an option there, just by the way, off and full scan. Uh, so now that I'm in, the, the full scan mode means I'm going to read the whole sensor area, as in I have the same field of view I always do in recording, but I'm going to kind of skip pixels around to get a better uh, to, get, to get a faster readout. The problem with this, of course, is because I'm skipping pixels on the readout, is that my resolution is sort of reduced overall, and that could also cause some things like moray, etc. cetera. Uh, to combat that and also to make better looking HD overall, Sony's released a new optical low pass filter, which is an optical sort of blurring filter, if you will, that goes right in front of the sensor here that you can install, over, uh, remove your 4K version, put the 2K or HD version in there, and that's going to give you a better result uh, in this high speed mode. So if you're shooting high speed on this camera, you're going to probably want that filter. It costs about 800 bucks, but well worth it for a nice quality HD image for high speed. So very important consideration. In the future, in this menu, you'll also have crop mode, which means it's going to read a smaller section of the sensor instead of skipping around and skipping pixels. When it does that, you're actually going to get a smaller area, a sort of 16 millimeter area, if you will. Uh, you won't need the optical low pass per se because they're not skipping pixels, uh, but it could still be a good thing. And that's nice because you can use different lenses. So those are your two options for the future and for now. But all I have right at the moment is the full scan. So I'll leave that in full scan. And you notice it says right away I'm in 120. So as soon as I turned it on, I went to 120, turned the menus off here, and I see my 120 FPS on the camera. And this is an S and Q mode, so it's basically recording 120 over 24. So if I went ahead and rolled on this and just waved my hand, there we go, in front of the camera there, you get a, a slow motion clip on playback. No big, no, no, no problem at all, right out of the camera. Very cool. All right, so that's the 120. It's on. Can't be in 2K, have to be in HD and XAVC. So important facts there. Now let's say I want to go above 120 to say 180 or 240. Well, I need the RAW recorder to do that, the R5. I can do that here uh, because the raw data has less processing in it, let's say, and the media is faster, so I can record more frames per second to that. Now this raw recording is going to be a 2K, uh, a 2K recording, right? So as soon as you go above 
uh, the 60p or reducing the resolution on the recording to 2k. No big deal, it's just the way that it works. 4k is max at 60p, always in the camera. All right, so to get the raw recorder on, I'm gonna go back here, go down to my uh, system mode, and go into my base settings here and turn on uh, Cine EI. That's gonna turn on my raw recorder and we'll see it, we'll spin up here, execute. The, the raw recorder is enabled and I'm still in the 120 mode and internally, so when I, boot, when I boot over to that, and I see this, I'm still actually in the 120 mode. So right now, my raw recorder is recording 120 frames per second, as well as my internal recording, which I set up previously. So in this mode, actually, if I recorded right now, I would get recording of high speed on, in both places, right? So there's my hand again, high speed 120 over 24 on the raw recorder in 2K, and internally in HD. Okay. Now, uh, if I go to the side panel though, and I want to go faster than that, right? I know I have the raw recorder now, I should be able to go 180, I hit the button here for the S and Q, and push in, and it doesn't let me actually go above that. And the reason is, is because I have the internal recording, the S by S recording, enabled. Uh, and that is maxed out at 120. So I can't have both an HD internal recording as well as my raw recording at the same time I want to go above 120. So how I fix this is I just, literally just turn off the, uh, the internal uh, uh, recording of S by S. So I can do that in the menus here. I'll back out, back out, and go to my recording menu, and go to record control, and turn off the S by S and axis, just set it to the axis only recording. Great, there you go. Cool, Look at the menus. And in a second here, you'll see it resets the menus. There you go. And off, it's turn it back on again. There's the 120 frames per second, that's normal, so I can record a shot there, but then I can also go 180 and 240. There we go. If I roll on that, now I have 200 frames a second in RAW only, just like that. All right, so I did it. I recorded up to 240 frames a second uh, on the HD, on the RAW only. I recorded 120 on the HD. So the big caveats here and the problems we see out so far getting this set up is uh, you can't record 2K, it has to be HD above 60. 2K is max at 60 frames per second right now. HD can do up to the 120. So internally, you've got to be in HD to make this work. Uh, also, if you want to go above 120, you have to turn off the S by S recording altogether to get that 180 and 240 frames per second. So those are your caveats. Make sure you turn it on. And once you update your firmware, by the way, do a, do a full reset on the camera. That'll make sure everything's reinitialized and working. So uh, that's it for now. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.